Oh, you want a reaction? Well, you've come to the right place. Following suit from Dallas and the production team at The Chosen, right here on this channel on Monday, there will be a double drop of reactions to the whole of episode three. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. It reminds me of the time with John. Something calls him Creepy John. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. yeah, I bet the scooter's the last time I saw you writing in your journal, spying on me for the Romans. Nazareth. Here we go again. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and also welcome if you are new. I'm so grateful to have you all here. So my name is Aquia B and here on this channel I cover all things faith, culture and encouragement. And in today's video, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be continuing on with my reactions to The Chosen season two, with episode two, part two. Two. And I've heard some really good things about this episode, this part of the episode, so I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait to see the end, which everyone in the comments has been raving about, so I can't wait to get to that. But first of all, I just want to quickly remind you to leave a like down below if you haven't already, and make sure to comment something that you're enjoying from the reaction or just your opinions on this episode in general. And if you haven't already, then please make sure that you are subscribed to this channel before we go any further or before you click out of the video. And if you've done all of that already, then please make sure that you have turned on the notification bell so you never miss a new upload. Also, quick shout out to my Instagram page. Make sure you're following me over there at B or EsterABF. You can type in either of those and my account will pop up. Make sure you're following me over there for more faith, culture, and encouragement on a more daily basis. And let's get straight into it. I really need to learn these characters' names. Like, <laughs> some of the... Good morning. Did I sleep late? The sun is hard now. Some of the less oh, prominent I'm disciples right are just the characters' <laughs> faces. I don't recognize the names. I'm back off. You get used to it. Okay, you packing? I am. I pack every morning now. I never know if it'll be somewhere for a night or a week. That sounds hard. I didn't think about how this would really work. I think everyone's struggling with that. In some way. What about you? Mary. Wasn't it exciting yesterday when the men began reciting prophecy? And uh, a little intimidating. <laughs> yes. We need to catch up. Okay. It's so interesting to see the way that, like, obviously they're staying true to um, the culture and traditions at that time with it being Jewish culture and stuff, like, for women to cover their hair and stuff. Like, to see her without her head covering, it's just like, oh my gosh, like, she has hair. And it's like, usually, I think in these modern times it's usually associated with um, Islam and like um, the hijab or something like that but it did like Christians and Jewish people have been doing this for a long time I think it's just more of a cultural thing that women have stopped wearing headdresses and I think that's something that has been like there's a massive debate about it and like even I've prayed on it for a long time and um, I think some women they do it when they pray, some women don't do it at all, some women wear a headdress all the time and it really just depends on the way that you interpret the scripture and I think there's a part, I can't remember which um, passage of scripture it is but if I find it I'll try and you know put it up on the screen but where it's talking about headdress and all of this different stuff and some women say that having hair, having long hair is covering enough 
um, and that is our covering, but obviously it's a contested like part of scripture that people go back and forth on. So um, it's obviously not, it's a secondary issue, it's a secondary matter, so it's not like, um, it's not essential to your salvation, but it's just something that is pleasing to God to obviously obey him so it's understandable why there's such a big debate on it but yeah sorry to go on a tangent but that is just something that's interesting that I realised from this scene oh, of the women. I can't I'll get you out there reading right? Oh. Why don't we make its materials? Mm, leave it to me. I am not to ask. I am thankful before you living an enduring king. To you have mercifully restored my soul within me. Great is your faithfulness. It's more than two days worth. Uh, it's wet. No, it's damp. Good morning. Good morning, boys. <laughs> <sighs> that stuff will smoke something terrible if you like it now, but a nightfall, it did well. I didn't do it. Now then, who? <laughs> A young smart friend. No. 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 Oh. Matthew. Who's Thomas? Ah, I'm sorry, Thomas. Yikes. <laughs> I'm still learning everyone's names. That reminds me of a time with John. Someone calls him Creepy John. <laughs> no, that's good. I like that. So, the flock was evading Roman patrols moving up and down the Jordan. You were on the run. One day, John started addressing us by name. Zechariah, Tobias, Mika. We all start looking around at each other like, who's he talking to? <laughs> and then we realize we don't know each other's names. We'd been out there for months and we only knew each other's nicknames or aliases. How is John? Same old John. He's proud of you. I can tell you that much. Like a father. Mm. I think it's that time. Wake me if there's work to do, boys. And, uh, think Matthew, if you see him. Oh, trying to build relationships. That's cute. John remembers me. Aww. <laughs> Yikes. Ah, I thought that might be what you were doing. Hiding? No. Oh, also, just a quick um, point about the last part that I watched. When Nathaniel was under the tree, um, later on, um, Jesus actually speaks directly to him and says, like, I saw you under the, um, under the, I think it's a, is it a, it's not a pomegranate, under the fig tree. I saw you and it's the episode was called I saw you and I only realized when I went on the app and saw the title of the episode because the title of the name of the episode I don't think it showed on YouTube like the title so when I'm watching it and reacting to it I don't see the title so it was quite interesting to see and I made that connection once I saw the actual title of the episode so that was quite interesting. Writing. Are you writing? Philip says I don't have to do that anymore. Ah, new guy. I like him already. Everybody does. He's like Simon, but not like Simon. <laughs> mm. What are you writing? Just taking notes on what I see. This. I'm used to writing daily now. Mm. It began as a chore, but it's become a habit. I think prayer is like that. At first, anyway. And the way Rabbi told me. Now I love him. Mm. In the short time that I have followed, people have quarreled over things Jesus said, remembered things differently, and disputed his meaning. I think it's best we have a written record to refer back to. Everything he says and does? Yes. It's not a good idea. Why? We have enemies. 
There are people trying to trap Jesus in his words. They could twist something he said to defame him. Have you thought about that? They would find it easier to twist something he has reported to us than if it is confronted in writing. That's not how the world works. People can twist words however they want. But it's clearly written. Yeah, I bet as clear as the last time I saw you writing in your journal, spying on me for the Romans. And to think I came here to thank you. People out there want to define all of us by our past. Mm -hmm. But we do things differently because of him. Mm. Preach, Matthew. For the record, it's a bad idea. Write that down. Oh no, oh no. We head out in an hour. <sighs> He's not wrong. Just be careful.
It's a conversation for another time. But we will talk about it. I think so. Soon. Ah, there's that word. Soon. It's the most imprecise thing in the world. <laughs> what is soon? Mm. A few hours? A few days? Mm. Years? A hundred years? A thousand years? Ask my father in heaven how long a thousand years is. Then talk to me about soon. Where are you going? To relieve Andrew of a cart. But it's not your time. <laughs> Should I try to sell my mother a cana? How much good did it do? Mm. My time has not yet come. This seems wrong. like an ambush. Nothing wrong. What's uh, going on? He wants to ask a favor. Of course. Can I borrow a tablet? Did Simon put you up to this? No. I'm going to teach Raymond how to read. We want to study Torah. Oh. That's what I want to do. No, they don't allow women in the Bet Midrash. How can I get to the scrolls? I could copy them for you. That would be really long. Maybe we could ask Philip what is the most important part. I'm pretty sure it's all important. We don't even know where to start. I'll ask Philip. Why Philip? He's kind to me. Oh. That is too. Sorry, they're the exception, Matthew. I'll talk to Philip. Everything good up here? Yes. We're going to study Torah. Who? You and I? And Matthew. <laughs> Matthew doesn't know anything about Torah. How do you know what Matthew knows? That's the point. And you don't read? I was sent to Hebrew school like you, so that's exactly what I'll do for Mary. But it's not like we're trying to be teachers or anything. We just want to learn more. Have you taken your shifts with the costumes? Anything you need to know, you can always ask me. Hmm? Be happy to answer any questions. You know that, right? Of course. Good. Oh, yikes. Oh, Oh, no. Passage to memorize. Anything that would get me started. To make up for lost time. No, Matthew, you didn't lose any time. You just got rearranged. Gaining it all back now. But in the meantime, I, I want to understand the same things you do. And everyone else. No. It doesn't happen overnight. Bro, there it is! Ah, Caesarea Philippi. I did say. Really? No. <laughs> Philip the Tetrarch, brother of Herod Antipas. Oh. Family that does not take any to my former rabbi. Why? Well, John criticizes them for things like killing their own sons and marrying their own nieces. Things oh, like he this. beheaded I suppose he should. John. Welcome to the Empire. Of course, you should know more about this than any of us. No offense. I'm going to go up ahead. Passage to memorize. I'll work on this. Oh dear. Nathaniel! Hey, Nathaniel, it's me, Philip. Nathaniel!
I love how everyone's houses were just so open. Like. <laughs> He said he wanted to visit me. Alright, we need to get you some water. I am truly sorry, my friend. No one was killed. It could have been worse, I would be in prison. I'm still proud of you. I've lived through you at times, you know that? Through me? Yes. <laughs> I'm living through you, man. I mean it. What part? Going to classes endlessly. Dealing with bureaucrats day in, day out. I uh, skip that part. I mean the part about building something with your own hands. I had a calling. I don't regret it, but while you were in the city being validated by top professionals, I was in the wilderness. With a lot of yelling. <laughs> I don't deny occasionally being jealous that you had actual physical evidence to show for your efforts. You don't know what your impact was or will be. No, I have a good idea what it will be. A cold day in Gehenna before they hire another Jew. I thought that I knew where God was putting me to. Yeah. So what are you doing? <laughs> I thought you were out making enemies all over the place. I'm about to make a whole lot more enemies all over the place. John sent me to someone new. You sure know how to pick him. He's not just anyone. That's what you said about the baptizer. And I was right. But this is... more. Mm. This is who the baptizer has been preparing us for. Mm. Nathaniel. <laughs> He's like, mm-hmm, yeah, sure. He's the one. That one. The one who Moses foretold and the prophet said would come. The one. The one. Jesus of Nazareth, son of Joseph. Nazareth. Here we go again. <laughs> oh, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Come and see. Oh, <laughs> little dump on a craggy hilltop. Serious. No paved roads, no public buildings. <laughs> they barely have a synagogue. You can't. You really can't. Hey, I'm just telling it like it is. Why can't I do that? Because you're mean. The families. Illiterate day laborers and peasants, by the way. Sleep under the same roof as their livestock. Listen to me. Honestly, Philip, saying the one is a Nazarene is practically innocent. Just come and see. Ooh, wow. that was ooh, that that was a low blow, my guy. So wow. <clears throat> Your whole life, you've wanted to serve God, to meet the Son of God, the King of Israel. I promise, you will not regret it. Mm. And if you do, I'll refund your misery. It's actually quite interesting, like when you, I always thought like when I was reading the Bible, especially when I was um, new to faith, like what would I actually be like meeting Jesus? Like, I think anyone would have this kind of reaction. It's not a thing, it's not normal. It's very extraordinary. So you'd be like, you'd have more disbelief and like questioning and curiosity than you would have like straight away belief and straight away faith so I like the fact that they're like going into depth on these stories of the characters that didn't automatically believe and like had that little um period of coming to faith and not just like immediate faith like instant faith and you know belief 
And yeah, it's just interesting to see the way that they're doing Nathaniel's story. I know you. You don't mess around. You will want to join him. He's like no rabbi who ever has been or will be. I've never seen him talk like this. I'm still hung up on the Nazareth of it all. Rabbi, well, this is a good night. You know who stands beside you there? This is my friend, Nathaniel. Yes. I'm sorry? Man is often deceitful. And Israel began with Jacob a bit of a deceiver, yes? Yes. But one of the great things about you is you are a true Israelite. And on there is no deceit. What did you say about What is this? Have you known? I have known you long before Philip called you to come and see. Don't look at him, look at me. When you were in your lowest moment, and you were alone, I did not turn my face from you. Oh my gosh. When I read that bit in the Bible, like, oh, crazy. Ah. Okay, so that is the end of today's reaction. I really hope that you enjoyed it because I definitely did and it definitely got very emotional towards the end and just really raw and uh, vulnerable. So I really enjoyed that. Um, I really related to that in my own personal experience with God. So I really related to that and I'm sure that a lot of you guys would have related to that as well. Um, I'm not gonna do a massive final thoughts in this last bit because I'm actually running late to church and I really need to go. So I'm just gonna wrap this video up here and I really hope that you enjoyed this reaction. Make sure to leave a like, comment something down below and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and make sure to look out for that double upload 
on Monday and I'll catch you in my next one. Stay blessed and bye.